Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, if your screen resolution settings is grayed out and you're unable to change the screen resolution, I mean, um, your whole screen is looking blurry and you want to change the settings, you want to change the resolution of your Windows 11 computer and you're unable to do so. So to fix that, just do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. Now, once the device manager is opened, expand it and go to the display adapter section right here. Once you're here, under display adapters, you will find the graphics driver which is installed. So it could be AMD, it can be NVIDIA, and it can be Intel, like me. So you just need to do a right click and click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So if it is searching for the best available driver, well and good. If it doesn't, then close this window and do a right click and click on update driver again. And this time click on browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers. And from here you will see the date and the version. Try the older version. And if it is, I mean, try one by one. So try the second one, then the third one, like that. And then just click on next. And I'm sure your screen resolution changing issue will be fixed. And you will be able to change the resolution of your computer. All right. So please do let me know. And one more thing. I mean, if you are unable to do so, if you are unable to change your resolution, what you can do is you can simply go to your display adapters. Just like, just allow me a moment. Here. So here you will find your display adapter. Just copy it. Just note it down somewhere and search in Google. So I'm using Intel R. So in this manner, I'll just type Intel R UHD graphics. And I'll just hit enter. And I can see I have the UHD graphics and I can download the graphics driver. So this is how you can download from the manufacturer website. And please ensure if you're using NVIDIA, AMD or Intel, use the manufacturer website to download the drivers, nothing else. All right, please do let me know in the comment section if you have successfully fixed this problem. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.